Have you ever jolted awake at 3 a.m., heart pounding, like an unseen hand shook you from slumber? It happens to countless souls, drawn into the enigmatic witching hour between 3 old a.m. and 5 old a.m. Some call it the devil's hour, but Dolores Cannon, renowned hypnotherapist, saw it differently. Join me as we unlock the hidden meanings behind these 3 a.m. awakenings, revealing a fascinating interplay between your subconscious mind, spiritual connection, and the universe's whispers. Okay, let's begin. Across cultures, from ancient Egyptians to medieval Europeans, the dead of night held both fear and intrigue. It's no surprise, then, that the quiet between 3 and 5 a.m. became known as the Devil's Hour. Yet, some traditions whisper of a different magic, a heightened sensitivity to the spiritual realm. Even Plato, the ancient philosopher, pondered the soul's journey during sleep, suggesting it might wander closer to the divine during these liminal hours. And indeed, the quiet stillness of early morning holds a power all its own. Free from the cacophony of the day, our senses sharpen and intuition awakens. It's no wonder, then, that many report heightened spiritual experiences during these pre-dawn hours. But here's where things get truly fascinating. Have you ever consistently woken at a specific time, like the eerily symmetrical 3.33 a.m.? In many spiritual traditions, this is seen as a sign from your guardian angel. Angels, those ethereal beings of love and guidance, are believed to communicate through subtle nudges, dreams, and even specific numbers. Some people report feeling a comforting presence around them during these awakenings, while others receive clear messages in the form of words, symbols, or vivid dreams. Intrigued? You can invite and amplify these angelic connections during these potent hours. Before sleeping, set your intention to welcome guidance and messages from your angels. Upon waking, practice mindfulness paying attention to any recurring thoughts, emotions, or symbols. Journaling these experiences can help you decipher the divine whispers hidden within them. Now, let's step further into the unknown and explore the possibility of venturing beyond the confines of our physical bodies during these potent hours. Have you ever felt a strange sense of detachment, like floating above your bed during an early morning awakening? This could be a glimpse into the fascinating realm of astral projection. Dolores Cannon, renowned hypnotherapist, believed the 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. window held a unique opening for astral travel. This timeless zone, as she called it, allowed our consciousness to detach and explore other dimensions, gaining knowledge and insights beyond the limitations of our physical form. Other spiritual teachers and experts echo this sentiment, highlighting the increased energetic activity and decreased brainwave frequency during these pre-dawn hours, creating a fertile ground for out-of-body experiences. But it's not just theory. Countless individuals share their stories of astral journeys undertaken during these witching hours. Some describe visiting breathtaking landscapes, meeting spiritual guides, or even accessing past lives. These experiences often report feelings of profound personal growth, heightened understanding, and a deeper connection to something larger than themselves. So how can you tap into this potential? Remember, intention is key. Before sleep, set your mind on the desire to explore astrally during the 3 a.m. window. Practice relaxation techniques like meditation or deep breathing to quiet your mind and prepare your body for this non-physical adventure. Additionally, research and experiment with various astral projection techniques like the rope method or the wake-induced lucid dream technique. If you don't have any clue of these techniques and want us to make detailed videos on these, let us know in the comment box. Okay, let's dive deeper. While we sleep, our minds enter a hypnagogic state, a liminal space between wakefulness and sleep. During this time, the unconscious mind becomes highly receptive to information and inspiration. Dolores Cannon believed the quiet of 3 a.m. facilitated this receptive state, making it a prime time for receiving creative downloads and innovative solutions to problems. Think of composers like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 
who claimed to receive entire symphonies in his dreams. Or Marie Curie, who credited her groundbreaking discoveries to vivid scientific insights experienced during nighttime slumber. The key is to capture these fleeting ideas upon waking. Keep a dedicated notebook by your bedside to jot down dreams, intuitive nudges, or creative sparks that arise in the pre-dawn hours. Practice dream incubation before sleep by setting your intention for inspiration on a specific topic. When you wake up at 3 hours a.m., engage in light activities like gentle stretching or journaling to stimulate recall without fully disrupting sleep. These practices can unlock a wellspring of creativity within you. The veil between realms is believed to be thinner during the early morning hours, making us more sensitive to the subtle energies of the universe. Some people report heightened intuition, empathic feelings towards others, or even premonitions. This increased sensitivity can be overwhelming at first, but with practice, it can be harnessed for spiritual growth. Peace and stillness are crucial for tuning into these subtle frequencies. Meditation during the 3 a.m. window can act as a conduit, allowing you to receive and interpret these energetic messages. Pay attention to recurring symbols, dreams, or physical sensations. They might carry guidance or insights from the universe. Take the example of David, who started waking up at 3.30 a.m. with a persistent feeling of warmth in his hands. Initially confused, he began practicing energy grounding and meditation. Through these practices, he recognized this warmth as a universal signal to offer healing energy to others, leading him to pursue a career in energy healing. Beyond our physical selves, we are part of a vast interconnected web of soul energy. Perhaps the synchronicity of waking up at a specific time, say 3.33 a.m., hints at a deeper soul-related phenomenon. Some believe these occurrences point to meaningful connections with other souls, either living or passed on. These connections may manifest as recurring dreams, shared experiences, or a sense of unexplainable familiarity with someone you just met. If you experience such synchronicities, pay attention to them. Research numerology and the meanings of specific numbers like 333. Journal about your feelings and any recurring symbols or themes. Trust your intuition and seek guidance from spiritual mentors or communities. Friends, embracing the mysteries of the 3 a.m. witching hour is not about seeking answers, but about opening yourself to possibilities. It's an invitation to explore the depths of your being, connect with something larger than yourself, and embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. So, the next time your eyes flutter open at 3 a.m., don't dismiss it as a nuisance. Instead, see it as an opportunity to step into the unknown, unlock the hidden dimensions within yourself, and witness the magic that unfolds when you embrace the whispers of the witching hour. So there you have it. The 3 a.m. witching hour isn't just about spooky legends. It's a portal to self-discovery, spiritual connection, and hidden realms. Remember, this is just the beginning. As you explore your own 3 a.m. experiences, trust your intuition, embrace the unknown, and see where the journey takes you. If this video resonated with you, hit that like button and share it with anyone who might find it intriguing. And to continue exploring the mysteries of the universe and beyond, subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending content coming your way. Until next time, stay curious, stay open, and remember, the magic is always within you waiting to be awakened.